but in fact. That's Coldplay and Ink on Beverly FM at 27 minutes past 11. The morning flies by, I'm delighted to say. Our guest of the day here at Beverly FM, Elizabeth Pickering. Hi, Elizabeth, welcome. Hi. Nice to have you with us today. A singer and guitarist extraordinaire <laughs> for such a young'un. <laughs> and uh, it's nice to have you with us. How did you get started in singing and learning the guitar and all that? There must um. be a story. Yeah, well, singing came much before guitar, to be honest. Um, singing, I've just always done. Um, and guitar, I picked up my first guitar, I think, when I was about eight. I think my grandma bought me it. Um, and then it's just been, you know, learning from there and improving and writing songs. I see you've got, like, a, a little switchy doodah thing. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. Have you not? No, I, I um, mean, you know. Ah, it's just... What just is it? To, it's like, it's a preamp. Uh, oh! <laughs> so it's just a sounded like trick acoustic. It's just you know um, when you play in, you can go through an amp and yeah. amplify. <laughs> Indeed, I get it. I get it straight away. <laughs> um, so how have you got to where you are now? Because you're becoming quite well known in East Yorkshire, and uh, you've got SoundCloud postings. And <laughs> how how did that happen? From from just being this cute little girl that strums a guitar that a grandma gave huh? <laughs> to where you are now um well there's you know there's been a lot of help along the way you know everyone in hull and beverly and the surrounding areas are so supportive of like local artists and it's amazing what everyone can do you know if we if we all work together and <laughs> to use a cliche but no it's excellent um you know I do a lot of stuff with a lot of different places such as freedom road um westwood sessions and East Hill urban arts and they've sort of got me to where i am yeah I, i've got a feeling i've watched you play now i'm not sure where it might really? have been westwood sessions although they don't usually let pensioners in there <laughs> uh, but um now i'm i'm fairly i'll know when i've when i've heard you sing yeah probably so, yeah there you are you see um and what sort of gigs do you do i mean do you perform to order or do you have a sort of set places that you perform at venues? um i'll go anywhere if i'm honest <laughs> anywhere that'll have me but um yeah um a lot really. I was at O'Reilly's yesterday in Hull with Darren Bunting, that was a good night. Um, some excellent bands on and stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll go anywhere really. Okay, well, give us a demonstration then of your amazing talent and uh, what are you going to sing for us first? Um, I'm going to play my song Just Fine. Okay, let's do it. Cool, thank you very much. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Well, 
Um, you said that was your song. Did you compose that yourself? Yeah, yeah, that was on me. <laughs> yeah. So how long does that take, that process? Oh, it depends. Right now I'm in a sort of like, I get, I get moments, I get phases of, you know, I can go home and smash out a song that I've been trying to write for three years and I couldn't, I'll write it in about five minutes. Wow. But, yeah, yeah, sometimes it does take about three years. What's the key to inspiration for a songwriter, do you think? Oof. Oh, that's a very profound question, isn't it? Um, mm. I well, do ask them occasionally. <laughs> there are some. Um, I don't know, I think just having an inspiration sort of, you know, just looking around you and seeing what you can do, like, it's a bit of a joke between me and my friends because a lot of my song lyrics are just conversations and just conversations that I hear or that even that I'll say and I'll be like, oh, that sounds like a lyric. And, you know, you go home and make it one and, yeah. Mm. You're at college. That's Tell me. us what you're studying right now. <laughs> um, I'm studying biology, English literature, history, and music technology. And I suspect, from what you've told us off air, that perhaps music as a career would be the thing that you'd want to do if you could. That would definitely be the dream, you know, mm. as for many people. So have you started recording these um, songs that you've composed? Yeah, I've recorded a fair bit, to be honest. Um, down with Mikey Scott at um, Fruit Trade and at Fairview and the Warren are doing some excellent stuff with recording as well, so I've got a few, quite a few recordings, yeah. And what has been your absolute favourite place to play and perform? Oh, that's actually a really easy one. Um, Humber Street Sesh. No, I'm sure you said Beverly FM. Did, oh, did no, you... also Beverly FM. Oh, yeah, Beverly I FM. I mean, yeah, of course. I thought you meant last year. Oh, right, sorry. Right, last, sorry. Year, last, last year. year. Yeah, last year. Last year was Humber Street Sesh. This year, <laughs> obviously. Beverly FM. Yeah. <laughs> Why was it your favourite place? last year? Oh, it was absolutely immense. Um, everyone was singing along. I did a few covers, um, you know, Twist and Shout, everyone's going to sing along to that. It was mental, you know, sun was shining. It was great. It was a great day. <laughs> it's really interesting to someone who grew <laughs> up with Twist and Shout and, and to hear someone so young talking <laughs> about Twist and Shout is, uh, it's almost bizarre to be honest. <laughs> It's just great doing covers that people don't expect you to do because when people see, you know, you're a girl with a guitar, oh, oh she's going to do an Ed Sheeran cover, isn't she? And then, you know, if you whack something out that people don't expect, it's just quite interesting to see the faces. Well, it's funny you should say that because I just get the impression that that's exactly the type of person that you are, that you <laughs> like to surprise those that are listening to you. That's the one, yeah, yeah. I reckon And so. for sure, I have heard you before. Have for you? sure, yeah. So what are you going to play for us next? Um, it doesn't actually have a title. I finished writing it on Wednesday and I played it for the first time live yesterday. So are you saying then that the song is called It Doesn't Have an Actual Title? Yeah, you know right. what? Yeah, that's, that it. Is, that's it. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, let's hear it. It <laughs> doesn't have an actual title. <laughs> okay.
tired when the nights are getting lighter And the stars are shining brighter And your heart's gone off Sitting in the keyboard writing songs for now and singing So, um, obviously, you want to go into music full-time if you possibly can. Uh, how do you see yourself accomplishing that? Just doing what I'm doing, really. Um, you know, gigging a lot more around Hull, um, as I have been for, you know, about two years now. Um, and just expanding that into other cities and just, you know, trying my hardest and relying on... Not relying on, but just, you know, other people are helping you out and you're helping other people out. And that's just sort of the way it works, isn't it? Mm, I think it is. Uh, the right song, the right place, the right yeah, time. Perhaps time, 2017 yeah. could be a big year for you. Yeah, City of Courts, that's definitely a big part of it. It's literally just for hope. Okay, well, before we finish, tell us what you're up to this year and how um, people can hear more of what you do. Okay, um, well, you know, I've got SoundCloud and Twitter and Facebook and everything, so that's just my name, Elizabeth Pickering. Mm -hmm. um, what am I doing lately? Um, I've got a gig with Westwood Sessions. Um, Summer Street Sash, Trip right. Fest, all that, so yeah. That's going to be an exciting yeah, yeah. year. Definitely. Well, Elizabeth, I've got a favour to ask you. Okay. Now, you might not be able to do this, but I think you probably can. Right. Um, I've got uh, just a little something to do on the radio here, and then I was hoping you might play Twist and Shout. Do you think you could do that? I can do it. It's a bit of a mashup. Um, it's not just Twist and Shout on its own, you see. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, sure. All right, All right. then. Whew, I'm fine. I'll, I'll do a bit of radio bit. Ah, okay, that's okay. fine. So I'll give you a, a second or two. <laughs> Uh, it's Beverly FM, the sound of East Yorkshire. Our guest of the day is Elizabeth Pickering, and she'll be back twisting and shouting in just a few minutes. You all right to do that? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> he wants to uh, park back. <laughs> I'm a bit of Beatles. A bit of Beatles. All right, cool. 